Hey everyone, this is Michael with Cult of Mac here, and today I'm going to show you a pretty simple tip uh, for OS X Mountain Lion. Uh, as you may know, when you go to type a document in text edit pages, pretty much any program that uses iCloud, uh, for example here if I just type test, uh, when you go up to the file menu and click save, the default save location is always, always iCloud. And it can be a little bit annoying, especially for me, I don't always want to save everything to iCloud. I like to save things to my documents folder or my desktop if I just want to keep them temporarily. I don't always want everything in iCloud. And it's been very frustrating for me to go up and then click iCloud and then go down to documents every time when I used to be able to just type in whatever title I wanted and then just hit enter. But thanks to a couple of commands I found submitted by a user over on Mac OS 10 Hints, there's a way that you can now change the default location away from iCloud for all the iCloud enabled apps. And uh, it's very nice. So I'm going to show you how you can use that command here today. So what you're going to want to do here is go and open up Finder. Then go from there, go into Macintosh HD Applications. And then go to Utilities, of course. Now in Utilities, you'll have Terminal. So all you have to do in Terminal uh, is bring in these lines of text. And it's fairly simple. Uh, but the, the text is pretty big. So I'm just going to copy and paste it right into here, and that's all you have to do. And you can see that it says default write NS global domain, NS document save new documents to iCloud minus bool false. Uh, so when you hit enter, what you're going to see is it's just going to bring you back to this prompt. And you're all done, and you can quit terminal. And it's really that easy, it's very simple. So now anytime you launch something like text edit again, and I'll type in something here and go to the save dialog box. You can see now it'll save rights documents. And now from here, if you want it to save to iCloud, you, it's still available in the menu here, uh, but it's not the default and it's not always there bugging you when you can't go to the file system. Now, when you want to go back and reverse this, it's as simple as putting in the other line of text here that I'll, I'll both have below the video. And that's basically the same thing, but instead of false, you're going to want to have true. And when you hit enter, it'll be reversed just like that. You're not going to see anything within terminal, uh, but it will be back to normal. So there you go. It's just a quick, simple tip, but it's something really easy uh, to fix a very frustrating problem that I've had. And I'm pretty sure many other users have had in OS 10 Mountain Lion. Of course, if you have anything that you'd like to see me do a how-to on, make sure to send me an email. This is Michael with Cultimac, and thank you for watching.